Hi folks, I'm um, going to tie you this wee fly here, putting the wee slacks and the flies together for a young lad who's just lifted the fly rod, got into the fly fishing. So it's just like a wee olive bibio, if you like. Um, they're good wee flies to have in your box, especially for the reservoirs um, here in Northern Ireland. Good wee fly, and that's what the young lad's fishing at the minute. So I'm just going to show you how to put this wee fly together. We take this one out of the vase. And we'll get a hook in. Now the hook I'm putting into the vise is the size 10. Um, standard heavyweight wet fly hook. Make sure that's in. The thread that I'm going to use to tie the fly is Uni Thread 8 in black. So we'll just come in and knock a bit of thread on. Right about halfway down the shank of the hook. Remove the waist tag of thread. The rib on the fly is going to be an oval gold tinsel and small. Just trim that away. Just come around with a couple of turns to catch this in. I'm going to run this down to some sort of way. My thread's in line with the barb of the hook. Just come and take this wee waist tag of oval gold tinsel away. Now the body's in three parts. The first part is going to be olive dubbing. Just let me get this out of the dispenser box. And then the next part is going to be orange and then olive again. So a bit like a baby it was black, red, black. So this is just the olive seeds for. Just here we pinch of this. Gotta start it, slide it up. You know, it's been saying to me, you know, it's costing him a fortune on the flies to get himself started and stuff. So I'm gonna give him this box, get him started. So that's what experienced anglers and people who tie flies should be doing. Trying to profit here all the time. Hey, we're on with our orange dubbing. This is the hot orange uh, seeds fur that I'm putting on now. I just want a nice wee colourful mid section there, just like a trigger point. Then we'll come back in with our olive again. And just double wee bit on. Just always remember guys, when you're taking your dubbing on your thread, always take it the one way. Or if you struggle with dubbing the one way, make dubbing loops. I'll maybe show you a wee video on that at a later date. Now, I'm just going to bring my thread back tight up against the body. I'm going to put a body hackle on the fly. And this is going to be a red game cock saddle hackle. So, just want to get a nice feather off here. Now all I do is when I take these off the cape is just crack away the rubbish at the bottom. Strip away some of the fibers to bar the stem. Staff it up to the fly and just come in with securing turns, catching that in. Just bring the stem up, trim that away. And then I I, when I'm palmering the hackle down the body, I like to get two or three turns going at the shoulder of the fly. I want to take a wide sweep. Don't want to cover my orange. Want the, the orange to be shown through down to here. Now keep a hold of your tip. Aim around with your oval gold tinsel. And take another wide sweep. Don't want to cover your orange. Always be mindful of that when you're tying these type of flies. Anything that's going forward, four turns up the body's plenty. Anything that's going forward, sweep it back. Bring your oval gold pencil up at the front. Come around with a turn. And a couple of turns to secure in. Then come in and trim away the excess. And I'm going to come in and just, with my scissors, and trim away the tip of the hat. 
tackle at the back. Now I want to bring some of the dubbing out on the fly. So this is just a bit of Velcro on a lollipop stick. I'm just going to come in here and give it a good head. And if you have tied in the nice and securely with the rib you should be able to do that and the fly should be able to take the stick at the same time now I'm going to bring my thread back up tight up against the, the haggle I'm going to put some legs onto the fly and that's just going to be the natural uh, pre knotted pheasant tail legs I'm just going to put three down each side with a couple of loose turns and then tighten up and then see where we are. I just want to make sure that the length's okay. Yep, happy enough with that. Just want to, you know, in mind when I'm tying these, I want my legs to be past the bend of the hook. So when you're you're pulling them, that there the legs are maybe moving in the water, you know. Now I'm just going to tighten that up and then come in and trim away the excess of the pheasant tail, the eggs. Then we'll run our thread down to the eye. And back up again. Last part of the wee fly is just a olive. This is just a Chinese cock haggle. I want to get a good feather here because I've used up the majority of them have had that keep that long so I'm just going to stroke back the fibres just to reveal the tip of the haggle now there's a couple of ways you can do this you can tie the tip in like this or you can come in and trim away the tip and leave yourself that wee tag end offer this up to the fly run with a turn of thread and then tie this in Just going to hold the haggle, come in with my scissors. Just want to run this up the stem just to encourage the fibers to sit back for us. And then you're just looking one turn in front of the other. Right, this is a small feather, so I'm going to use up as much as I can here off the haggle. Now we've got haggle pliers, use it. Just going to keep the hold of the stem. Follow it around with my thread. A couple of tight turns in now. I'm going to fold this back. So I'm just going to strip the some of the fibers off the, the stem. Just don't want to create too much bulk at the head. Then we'll come in and fold this back. And then we can build up our head from the front to make sure it's well secured in at this stage the stem keeping your thread tight break the stem away and you can just come in with your whip finishing tool and throw in a couple of turn whip finish pull the thread up nice and tight come in trim away your thread. Now, all you have to do now is stick a wee bit of varnish onto the onto the head. Now when I'm putting the varnish on some of my trout flies like this, I'll just slice it on. Just draw in the head area. But don't worry if it could, if it goes into the if it goes into the hook or into the eye, sorry, because we can just come in and clean that out in a second. Just got a piece of waste wire on my desk and then just come in and poke it through the eye just keep it clear so there you go guys it's just a wee wet fly tied in the, the baby
be old style bally, a couple of legs on it. We fly you can't go wrong with. Um, the flies that I'm tanned for the young lad. I'll do a couple of videos on them just to show you. Um, but there you go, guys. If you fish for the trout, tie that up. You'll not go far wrong with that wee fly. Hopefully, I can get you a few fish. As always, many thanks for taking the time to watch the video and take lanes.